you ready? I'm a little nervous, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, let's go on it. Erica's habit of trying to be perfect at everything is about to be put to the test at this secret location. Hey, guys, let's get you suited up and let's get ready to rock. Okay. Here we go. Give me some love. All right, let's do it. I hear this place is really difficult, so make sure you do your best, but don't worry about anything else, okay? I'm not worried at all. Erica starts the course giving it her all. Eight, seven, seven. I want you to pull up one arm at a time. One arm. Use that. Use those muscles. But as she continues, it becomes increasingly more difficult. You got five, four, three, go, one, go, two, one. Three legs are up, three legs are up. Get that feet up. Get that feet up. Five, four, three. You got it. You got it. Erica, you're doing amazingly well. How are you feeling right now? I am quite stressed out, but I don't want to fail at this. I want to finish this. Look, listen to yourself. It's okay to take a breather. I want to fight the failure. I want to keep going. Go, go. You're there. That's it. Fight it. Fight it. You got it. You got it. You own it. You own it. You can do it. You can do it. Breathe. 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 I can't do this. Drop down. Drop down. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Okay, 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 Erica. Look, you've done your very best. Look at me. You've done your very best, okay? Sometimes it's time to stop, and this time it's right now. Why are you crying? It really hurts to see how I've just messed up everything. With the obstacle course, mm -hmm. something that was pretty impossible for you to do unless you're like an army person that's been working out forever. Mm -hmm. So you felt like a failure. Yeah. And watching yourself, you felt like a failure all over again. Mm -hmm. Dr. Robin is here. Interesting, Dr. Robin, that she has such an emotional reaction to not finishing that. Absolutely. And I feel like I have high expectations for myself. I'm very driven and very focused, but if I couldn't finish that, I might laugh it off. Mm -hmm. What makes somebody, what is the difference between healthy drive and unhealthy drive? Why would I laugh it off and why would Erica, why is Erica crying? We have to make the distinction between am I doing my best or am I striving to be perfect? Got it. Right? We need to ask ourselves, am I doing this to please myself or am I doing this to please someone else? And probably most significantly, does what I'm doing fulfill me or does it empty me? And that's what you just saw. Got it. Mom, when you see her crying over that obstacle course, what are you thinking? I feel bad. I'm like, gosh, you know, I, I never knew that she took it that far, that she wouldn't, you know, try. And then if she if she failed, that she would cry about it. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, you, you know, just laugh it off and say, okay, well, mm -hmm. maybe next time, you know, because I, I just... And still in her practice make perfect, so if she practiced that, she would get better at it. I didn't think she would want to just attempt that mm -hmm. first try. So. It's interesting you said, you know, she should be fine to just laugh it off, but mm -hmm. I've instilled in her, practice makes perfect. perfect. And if you, if you yeah. practice, you would be perfect on that. The only reason why I say that is that if you want something, I guess if you want something, and you want something bad enough, wouldn't you try very hard to get it? You know, I mean, instead of just wanting it to come to you, mm -hmm. you know, and that's and where the message, it off. but I feel like that's where the message gets mixed. Yeah, because that there is a certain thing, and I do talk yeah. about that, and yeah. and mentor girls yeah. and people, and you know, talk about the tunnel vision and really wanting something and striving right. for it. Right. But with your baby, it's to me, it's 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 crossed a line. Dr. Robin was talking about this line of perfection as opposed to the line of a goal and going after that goal. <laughs> And when you're not perfect, it doesn't mean you're a failure. Mm -hmm. And I remember first season of America's Next Top Model, there was this one girl, and she was just very beauty queen. She had great personality, though, but there was this one veneer that she had, and I felt like she needed to be perfect. And I told her, perfect is boring. Mm -hmm. Striving to be perfect is so boring. It is our flaws and our character quirks and our imperfections that makes us beautiful, too. There's a nice balance. Mm -hmm. You have to know that you are good enough 
And every now and then, if you get an A minus or a B, it's not the end of the world. And it's also not a bad thing to want all A's and to strive for all that. But when it happens, it does not mean that you are a failure or you are a bad person. Okay? Okay, we'll be right back.